So, shorts. Men's and women's shorts are different, so uh, maybe Claire, you'd like to show us your wide selection of uh, cycling shorts. Okay, yeah, I mean, I would definitely recommend that you buy women-specific shorts for women. Um, I have tried men's shorts and they just don't work. Men are in completely different shape. Um, so um, whatever they tell you in the shop about, oh, you can have, and I've had this been told, uh, oh, you can have men's shorts, they're fine. They're not, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I have a variety here. I think this is one of the first. So they all have a, they all have a chamois. Um, they all have a padding, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they all have a chamois inside, um, and that's designed to be worn next to the skin. Um, that's how most people find um, it easier to wear them. Um, and I have some bib shorts and some ordinary, these are designed as an inner for some mountain bike um, baggies. Um, so generally the shape is pretty much the same, but the actual chamois varies. So, so there, there's a men's, well you can see the difference there, there's a men's one mm -hmm. and there's a women's yeah. chamois and they're both, I guess, of similar quality yeah. shorts here. Yeah. Um, so I think these are one of the cheaper pairs of shorts that I have. Um, these are probably my favourite shorts, these are Castelli. And you can just see that this chamois is thicker, it's um, made of a material that's designed to be a bit more comfortable against the skin and to provide a lot more comfort. Um, which, as John said, if you're going out maybe for 20 minutes, half an hour might be okay, but I've certainly found that, especially at the moment, when I'm on the turbo, I need good shorts, because you're not moving around So the turbo, much. by the turbo you mean an indoor? On an indoor trainer. Yeah, yeah on an indoor you, bike trainer, yeah. And they're worse because you can't move around so much. Yeah. You're not like, if you're outside, you can freewheel and stand up on the saddle yeah. and that's not quite so easy yeah. on an yeah. indoor trainer. Yeah. yeah. The other thing to say is that um, certainly if anybody's read anything by Hannah Dines on cycling and, and ladies bits, you'll know actually you can really cause yourself quite a lot of damage if you're cycling a long, long time. Um, without properly caring yeah, for yourself. Yeah, I had to have surgery, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you? yeah. yeah. Um, so invest in a good pair of shorts. So they're my best cycling shorts. Um, and these um, were, going back to what you were saying, John, about having to pay a lot of money, um, these are my lucky shorts in that I bought these, I found these in the sale in Mallorca and they were really cheap, but they're really, really nice shorts. They're three quarters, they're winter, so they're quite they're quite warm. The bib shorts, um, but the, the the chamois is really good. It's really comfy. It's really um, yeah. So if you're fortunate enough to be what well, well, like Claire's quite small, so yeah, uh, and in the right place at the right time, um, I think she paid twenty five euros for a pair of shorts that probably cost uh, well well over a hundred well over hundred and twenty five euros. Yeah. Uh, shop around. I've got a friend who buys. Um, he buys uh, normally ASOS, uh, kit and ASOS is really good stuff and he buys it second hand off eBay which some people might think oh that's not very nice uh, wearing somebody else's shorts but it works for him, he gives them a good wash and he gets some really good kit that way yeah. and uh, a lot of people in cycling spend a lot of money on kit and bikes and then don't use it very much so uh, mm -hmm. they, they can get nearly new type uh, stuff uh, uh, quite cheaply. Yeah. So there are different types. So um, there are what's well, known as bib, as bib shorts and uh, and shorts. So if you um, if you go mountain biking, you um, you might buy a pair of baggy shorts, and they can sometimes come with a liner. These are Endura, and uh, these can be quite convenient. They're quite they've got really th thin mesh on the sides, so they're pretty cool and quite light. And here's another pair that are even lighter. And the other type of shorts are bib shorts. So the, these don't have an elasticated waist. They, uh, they have like braces that fit over your shoulders. And they, they're held up in that way. And the benefit of that is you don't really have a... Uh, you don't have anything pressing on your, on your stomach. And, uh, you, um, and, they, and they don't fall down. Shorts can sometimes catch on the a saddle and they pull a bit, but the the bib shorts certainly in my experience are much more comfortable. Is that your experience that the bib shorts are more comfortable? Yeah, the bib short, except when you need a wee. Yeah, I was yeah. going to get onto yeah, the practicalities of. Uh, but yeah, the more expensive shorts they tend to be bib shorts. They tend also to have 
like if you see here this is um it's got a little bit of a, um, a rubbery finish here so that they they stay in place they're not going to ride up these are a bit cheaper they have it but it's elastic and that can dig in a bit i find i don't know whether you have those on your shorts as well yeah you do i do on these yeah, yeah but i don't find a problem and uh... yeah i find that i notice that not m massively but it's actually quite mm. you know i feel like i'm wearing something quite luxurious when i wear these yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and these are uh, these endura shorts are, are really good shorts they've got a really good chamois inside uh, and it's not there's not any difference in quality between the these sort of good quality shorts in as and the uh, bib shorts of a similar price but uh, they're not quite as comfortable in some respects but if you were to carry if you wanted to carry a second pair of shorts if you're on a bikepacking trip then carrying a pair of normal uh, of shorts it, you save a lot of space because even a yeah. even a fairly lightweight pair of road shorts compared to the these are you know the big difference and, and also a difference in weight and then there's the going to the toilet aspect so which for men isn't so bad uh, in bib shorts but for women is, is quite difficult you having said that a lot of modern a lot of the newer bib shorts uh, these asos ones have got a, a clip haven't they they have i mean ultimately going to the toilet for women is never as convenient as it, as it is for men but these are much better in that instead of having it's just especially in winter when you're all kitted out the last thing you want to do is to be taking off every single layer and pulling your things down so that you can get to the loo these a hook over your head and clip here so in theory you can sort of get them on and off without pulling without taking all your clothes without all your taking top clothes off, yeah, yeah all your top clothes off yeah so they're they're quite good and um, i quite like those so the other thing um with um non-bib shorts can be sometimes i've bought women's ones and they're i don't know whether it's a stylistic thing but they cut a bit low and if you think about your position especially on a road bike where you sort of leaned forward quite a lot um, I'm always a little bit worried that they're a bit too far down and I'm, I'm going to have a builder's bum. So um, while they can be quite comfortable, I've got I've got a pair of three quarters actually, they're relatively comfortable because they're not high enough up. I don't really wear them outside anymore. White shorts, you have to be very careful with white shorts because uh, a lot of them are see-through. The other thing that's uh, worth considering is, is chamois cream. So a chamois cream is, is a cream that you... Um, that you put on the, on, well, you usually put it on your body um, where things are likely to rub and it stops abrasion and um, and, it, and it does make a difference, doesn't it? I, I found it makes a difference. Oh, a massive difference. Yeah. In fact, um, true story, I was in Wales with some friends and I borrowed my friend's bike um, and I was, even with a chamois, I was in absolute agony because I didn't have any chamois cream. You mean with a, like with padded proper yeah, cycling yeah, shorts? Yeah, proper yeah. cycling shorts. Yeah. Um, and uh, we found a little bike shop um, and I just went in and I said, oh, have you got any chamois cream? He said, I am, but actually my wife's left some. I'll put you some in a, a little container uh, and it saved my life. Yeah. It made the ride so much yeah. better. So it's, it's worth considering. Yeah. I, don't, I don't tend to use it for shorter rides, but certainly if I'm on the indoor trainer for a long period of time or if I'm going for a long ride, I definitely use it. And we like this. Um, we're, not, we're not paid by these people, so it's... Uh, <laughs> But it's just something that our friendly Craigie introduced me to, and uh, happy bottom bum butter. Tested on um, arseholes, not animals. Tested on arseholes, not animals is yeah. the uh, is the slogan. Yeah. So uh, there you go. And so that's if, um, you can get that at Charlie the Bike Monger um, is the name of the the guy who produces it. Uh, so you send it or you can buy it online, and he'll send it to you. So that's it. Cycle shorts definitely worth it. I bet there are pros and cons to having bib shorts or normal shorts and um, you get what you pay for. So I hope that's useful to you. If you like this video and want to learn more then please subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you get a reminder when we produce new videos. Thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon. Bye.